Hello, I'm the 10-Minute English Teacher. Let's get you exam ready. Today we're thinking about AQA, English Literature, GCSE, Love and Relationships Poetry, and I'm going to be providing you with a guide to the poem Neutral Tones by Thomas Hardy. Before we get going, don't forget to like and subscribe. There are plenty of things on the channel to help you revise for Love and Relationships Poetry. Okay, my guide to neutral tones. We're going to start by thinking about what the poem is about. So, Hardy's poem recollects the end of a relationship. The setting is bleak and colourless, which reflects the absence of love. Relationships ending are like bereavements, reflected by hints at death in the poem. We'll start with a quick reading, and then we're going to think about how we're going to analyse this poem for the exam. Neutral Tones by Thomas Hardy. We stood by a pond that winter day, and the sun was white as though chidden of God, and a few leaves lay on the starving sod. They'd fallen from an ash and were grey. Your eyes on me were eyes that rove over tedious rivels of years ago, and some words played between us to and fro, on which lost the more by our love. The smile on your mouth was the deadest thing, alive enough to have strength to die, and a grin of bitterness swept thereby like an ominous bird a wing. Since then, keen lessons that love deceives, and rings with wrong of shape to me, your face, and the God-cursed sun, and a tree, and a pond edge with greyish leaves. Neutral Tones by Thomas Hardy. So now we're going to think about how we are going to structure our response in the exam. So in the exam, you've got 45 minutes to compare two poems. Your first paragraph is going to tell us how your two poems relate to the theme named in the question. Tell us what they're both about, but be concise. You only need a few um, sentences about each poem in a paragraph. Here's an example of what that looks like for Neutral Tones. In Neutral Tones, Hardy recalls a relationship coming to an end. He uses his setting to reflect the pain caused by their parting of ways and also uses allusions to death to explore the strong feelings of grief and hopelessness a relationship's end can cause. So it's all about getting dumped. So that is your first um, part of your paragraph. Of course, in the exam, you'll be writing about two poems. That's what you'd need to do for Neutral Tones if it's the name poem or one you choose. Your second paragraph tells us about the structure in each of the poems. Can you make a comment on the rhyme scheme or the meter in each one? So here's an example of what that might look like for neutral tones. The A, B, B, A rhyme scheme in a regular meter could be used to reflect a sense of uncertainty and reflects the conflicting feelings of the speaker. The poem also has a cyclic structure returning to the image of a pond in winter devoid of life. And once we've made um, our way into our response with those first two paragraphs, we're then going to start analysing language. In front of you now is the only flashcard you should need for the poem. You only really need to know three or four four quotes because you're going to use three or four for each of the poems you're going to write about. So they'd fallen from an ash and were grey. That's in reference to um, leaves on the ground. And they're a metaphor for the relationship. Ash is making us think of fires being extinguished and the adjective grey elicits the thoughts of sadness and death. The smile on your mouth was the deadest thing. This is also eliciting the same feelings um, of, and the, the same thoughts of death rather, and is suggesting that breakups of relationships can um, be responsible for the same sort of feelings as bereavement. We've got a pond edged with greying leaves, and that's the end focus of the poem. We've returned to that scene of the relationship ending, and the pond could be a symbol for what they once had. It's now flanked by death and sadness. It's empty, whereas otherwise it might have been filled with life, as you'd expect a pond to be in, say, the summertime. And then we've got a mention of the God-cursed sun. We've got the allusion to God here makes us feel that the experiences um, of this relationship ending have placed him in a living hell as if he's been deserted in that moment and is truly alone. Now if you want to take it further, write in full sentences to aid your revision. This is what you should know in the run-up to the exam. So who's the speaker? What's their frame of mind in the poem? What's a key use of language in the poem and what does it communicate? Of course you should know by memory four quotes for this poem. What structure does the poem have and what effect does this have? What ideas about love does the poem communicate? and think about what themes are explored in the poem. Okay, check out the other videos on my channel. I'll continue to add content. Feel free to ask me for something you'd like to see me cover in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and keep revising.